What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about an extension from Curic that allows you to align different objects inside of SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so the name of this extension is Curic Align, and it is available for download for free in the SketchUp extension warehouse. I will link to this extension in the notes below the video. But basically the way Curic Align works is it's an alignment tool set designed to help you uh, align different objects inside of SketchUp. So one thing you may have noticed when you work inside of SketchUp is um, getting things lined up can be a little bit time consuming. Like let's say for example that I wanted to line all of these boxes up. Like currently I could either just model everything aligned or I could use the move tool to align each one of these individually. You can see how that could be a really time consuming process. So just selecting these and then aligning them based on these points. So that can definitely be time consuming plus you can click on the wrong point like I did right there. Well what you can do instead is you can use this extension to quickly align different objects. So let's say I select all of these boxes for example and then I activate Curic Align, you can see how what that does is that gives me a bounding box around all of these. So what it does is it basically creates a box around these objects based on the spacing of these objects. And you can see how when I mouse over different parts of this, uh, different things light up and different things show up. So for example, let's say that I was to click on the green axis. You can see how what this does before I click on it is when I mouse over it, it's giving me a preview showing me what everything is going to be aligned to. Well, if I click on this, it's going to align everything based on that green axis along this line. And so notice that what this is doing is this is aligning these based on the central point of each object. So um, based on the bounds of the object, it's aligning everything based on the object's centers. And so if I undo this, you're going to notice that each one of these, when they light up, is going to allow me to align this to something. So I could also align these based on the very end right here, or I could align them based on the red axis and you can see how they would line up right here. So what this does is this gives you a ton of different options for ways to align different things. And we'll talk in a minute about aligning based on faces. Not only can you use the boundaries on this, you can also align based on different faces. So you can do that as well. So this also works for objects that aren't the same shape or the same size. So for example, if I wanted to align all of these objects, because you can see how they're up and down right now, let's say I wanted to align all of these along the red axis or close to that, I could select these, click here, and you can see how this gives me a box where I could align all of these vertically. So even though these are different, um, even though these are different shaped objects, you can still align them so that they're now all at the same height. And again, notice that based on the way that I clicked on that, those all got aligned based on the central point. So I also could have aligned them based on this top point if I wanted to. And when I click on the top, notice that this is aligning these based on the top of the selection box or the bounding box for each one of these objects. So you can use this to quickly set these to the same height as well. And let's say I wanted this to quickly be set to the same height and I also wanted them to all be centered on this point. You can see how it just takes two clicks for me to set all of these on the same plane and then also align them across here. So another cool thing about this extension is, and we talked about this for a second earlier, is it also allows you to align objects based on faces. So you can align these based on objects that you don't have selected that are in your model. So right now, for example, you can see how these cars are all different heights and they're also different locations on the green axis. Well, what we could do is we could activate this tool to align the object. And then there's an option down at the bottom that you can see that says, align to edge face or section plane. And it says all you have to do is hold down the shift key in order to do that. So let's say I wanted to take all of these cars and align them with the front of these wheel stops. So what I could do is I could select all of them, hold the shift key. Notice when I hold the shift key, this starts highlighting different faces. That allows you to basically align with anything in your model that you want. So in this case, I could hold my shift key, align to this face, and then click right here. Then now, if you look at this, the front bounding box of each one of these objects is aligned with this face right here. So then, if I wanted to take all of these and place them on the ground, I could just hold the shift key again. Notice that I can find this face, and if I click here, 
this will align all of these with that face. You can see how I was able to quickly take these cars and align them with these wheel stops without having to do a whole bunch of extra work or use the move tool or anything like that. So, and one other cool thing about this is if you look at my cars right now, you can actually type in a value as well. So you can see how right now these are right kind of up to these wheel stops. So let's say we wanted these to be over the wheel stops a little bit. Well, you can select this tool with these selected, you can click on this face, but then you can type in a value. So let's say I was to type in a value of 25 inches, you can see how this would actually move this 25 inches um, in the direction of that face we had selected. And this is live, kind of like the move tool when you put it in copy mode is live. So I can type in different values and hit the enter key. And every time I hit the enter key, this is gonna move these based on the new value. So you can see how not only can you use this to align with a plane, you can use it to align to a plane and then and fine adjust this by typing a measurement value in here as well. And so there's other options in here as well. Like for example, if I run this, you can also right click and this will tell you, this will give you options to align to different planes. So you can align to the XY plane over here. So you can basically take these and you can align them with an axis. So if I right click on the other one, let's say I was to align on the red green plane that's gonna take them all and that's gonna drop them on the plane between the red axis and the green axis. So that could be a really quick way to drop objects on, a, on this axis. And then there's also the option to do this on the red blue axis. So that would align all of these based on this axis right here, or this plane right here between the blue and the red axis. So you can right click on these in order to align this to different axes as well, or different sets of axes as well. And then the last thing I want to talk about is there's also the option in here to create copies. So the way that works is if you remember we held the shift key in order to get to a line to edge face or section plane. Well if you notice in here there's also an option in here for toggle copy. And so I'm holding down the shift key right now but if I was to tap the control key while holding the shift key down, you can see how you get this little plus. So the plus means that you're in copy mode. Well, what that means is that means that now I could select a point or a face and click on it, and that would create copies of everything I had selected aligned with that point. So if you need to create a bunch of copies of something that are aligned, you can do that really easily. So let's say that I wanted to create another copy here. I would just tap control while holding the shift key and click on this point, then tap control while holding the shift key one more time and click on this point. So notice how I can quickly create copies of those different objects using that tool as well. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought was this helpful to you. Have you used this extension? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.